Okay, so I've seen a number of people convert their Dysons to use DeWalt batteries or Makita batteries or Milwaukee batteries. Um, you get these adapters. I've just got one from Amazon, so I'm gonna have a look. Appear to have this battery sticker, even though there's no actual battery in there. This is just an adapter. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Basically, this is the, the, DeWalt, uh, the Dyson battery. It's held on with two screws. There's one there, there's one in front of in here in front of this uh, you know the dust canister so you need to empty it first and then you've got to take the dust canister off hopefully it should be pretty straightforward let's just have a quick look at what I've got so I've got a box within the box and within this box there it is so it's just a little Bit that looks very similar to that plugs in but just will accept a DeWalt battery well at least actually I hope it accepts a DeWalt battery let's just check yeah it seems to all right excellent well that's a good start okay looking at this screw it looks like a posi looks like a pz1 okay got a pz1 uh, i should have mentioned by the way my this one here my dyson is a v6 um but you can get these adapters for other versions as well, but mine's a V6. So, okay, so that's that screw out. In order to take this thing off, apparently you do that once. Great, smashing. Thought I'd empty that, obviously not. And then you do it again and it clicks off. And the whole thing comes away. I'll just vacuum that up, because otherwise it's going to annoy me. The other screw, I don't know if you can see, it's in front of it, just there. Same, it's a PZ as well, that one on mine. So we'll get that out. They've got different heads by the look of it. Oh no, they haven't, they've got the same head. Okay, now this bit just comes out like that. That's easy, sorted. Put that to one side, take the adapter, stick it in. The screw back in, put the screw back in here, it's not the grippiest head you've ever encountered on a screw that, put this back in, there we go, pop it back up, pop the dual battery in, Working nicely. Battery's got three bars. So there you go. The uh, downsides are it doesn't sit flat anymore. It also won't go into the charging cradle anymore because obviously you're not charging, um, not charging the same battery anymore. So I'll have to stick a hook in the cupboard to hook it up with, but other than that, I'm pretty happy. Job done.